What up, y'all? Well, went up to Atlanta, north of Atlanta. Took a drive in up there and dropped off. I had to do a trailer swap. That was real tight. Had to come back, had to go pick up some stuff, bring it back, and then I had to come down here to Florida. And uh, roughly about 600 miles today. But uh, we'll talk to y'all when, when we get down there. Start unloading. See ya.
This is just how I do it on this job. I just put it here and I take the tie down bar and tighten it down like right here. And it's, it's on there, I mean, it's on there. It's, it's on there getting tight. It ain't gonna go nowhere. You got this little clip, that little clip right there. When I was driving over the road, we, I used to take them out and I'd roll them up and I'd put them in my side box up there. See, the, see that stuff on the ground right there? Those are my ratchet straps I had on this load. I had to use a couple of them on here. I just put them there just the time being. I'm gonna roll them up here in a few minutes. But uh, yeah, all right, all right there. The guys that load these, these trucks, they like to, they like to pound these, these buckles through here. See how this thing's bent right here? See how it's kind of bent right there? They take these buckles and they just, they just pound them through there and then you can't get them out. So what I do is I just leave it on there. I just, you know, unloosen it, throw it across, get, get it off the truck. And I just tighten it, I, I tighten it back up and leave it on there so they can deal with it. They, they always leaving it for us to deal with. I just leave it back, I leave it back for them to deal with. This is, there's several different kinds of these machines. If you see one that's red, like this, got the, it sits off to the side, it's called a Moffat. The actual name for it is a Moffat Mountie. Uh, there's a blue one where you sit in the center. That's the very first one I ever operated a long time ago. It's a Teledyne Princeton. There's a green one that, uh, I forgot what it's called, but it it, uh, it does basically the same thing. This thing's almost out of high drop. See, this is a hydraulic fluid right here. I'm lucky I got this thing back on this truck. See that, there's the hydraulic fluid right there. It's almost out. I was lucky to get this thing back on this truck. Uh, yeah. yeah, but what it does, the blades, the blades go in this, uh, it's got a, this is a kit that goes in these trucks. This, this got it, all right? The, blade go, the blades go in there, obviously. And what you're supposed to do is you go in, kind of tilt it down like this. And as you go in, you just lower it and it keeps it keeps going down as you go down. It, that way it's, it's kind of hard to explain. But as you go in, you just, you just lower it down. You gotta have, you gotta have this hook lined up with this bar right here. Uh, I gotta figure out something. There's a bar that goes right here. I got it in the truck. They put a, a zip tie on there. It's supposed to have a metal clip. Here, I'll show it to you on the other side. Yeah, see, it's supposed to have that, that metal clip. It's supposed to have that on there. Then it's got this chain that runs down. It's got a clip there. And then that, you know, and that's what kind of holds it on. It would probably stay on here by itself without all this, but I mean, you know, you just want to be safe. But, uh, man, this hot as all get out of here. But yeah, you got, you, 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 just what it is, this thing, this, this mast, this thing right here, it extends out beyond these tires right here. See that, see that frame right there? It will extend that all the way to there. And there's some feet. Yeah, see them, see them little feet right there? When you uh, when you have a heavy load on this thing, like a a pack of lumber or a pack of plywood or you know something like that, something that's going to be heavy. Because when you when you when you pick it up, you can you got to extend the mast all the way all the way out here. And then when you when you get ready to pick it up, you sit them feet down because they don't have the weight in the back. A regular forklift's going to have the weight in the back to counterbalance it. But this thing here, it uses the feet. So when you go to pick it up, you put the feet down and then you pick it, you pick it up and you do, you bring the mass back like, like this. Then you pick the feet back up and you take it where you gotta go. But you, you ride with, you, like let's just say you had a pack of plywood or some 12 foot lumber or something. You would have it, it'd be riding, the mass would be right where it's at. And it'd be right, you'd have it right above the tires like this. And then when you get ready to you, you drive it wherever you're gonna go. And then when you uh, got there, then you would you would set your feet down and then you would extend that mast all the way out past 
past the tires here, drop it down, and then basically you just pull the mass back and it just kind of scrapes it off the, off the blades. That's pretty much how you do it. It's pretty simple to operate. Uh, you got your tail lights. I'm sure y'all seen all these. What's going on, man? I'm at my delivery site here in Florida. I have made it down here. I'm gonna get my 10 hour break in right here where I sit. Uh, my area in the middle of nowhere, it's, a, it's gonna be a solar farm. We're bringing in all the erosion stuff um, to get that set up. It's hot, so I just got done unloading myself, and um, I'm gonna get back in the. I figure I get back in here and cool off for a minute, and I'll get back out there and finish rolling up the straps and finish tying everything down. I'll be good to go. How about that? It's a pretty exciting weekend. Look at get this air off. Here, the ones that do the ones that do hear me uh it could be a pretty exciting weekend i've got the money to get my first piece of equipment for my for my business i've got my llc i've got my llc uh, i've got my tax id i've got all my articles of corporate i got all that i got everything i need to 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 start my business my business is off is off the ground and then I'm gonna probably go this weekend. If I don't do it this weekend, I'm gonna do it in about a month. Cause I got, I got, you know, bills, first of the month bills, that type of thing. But after that, I'll still have another, I'll have like another couple of free checks and then I'll, I'll add on to what I already have. So, see, I'd like to go ahead and get it. Cause you know, you know what they say, strike while the iron is hot. And the iron is hot. I found a real good deal on one. And if I can get pick up, if I can pick that thing up this weekend, that'd be a, that'd be a real nice one to have. Uh, I can go ahead and get started getting um, everything else. Won't be that big of a deal, but just two things I gotta have. That's the biggest biggest purchases, and this is one of them. And this is if I can get this one, I, it's, a, it's a real good deal. Real good deal. It's a real good piece of equipment too. Uh, but anyway, um, we had a we had a guy get killed at our job this past week. Uh, they said he fell off a ladder or something. I'm not sure what happened. But we got a we got a safety beat Monday morning. I'm pretty sure that's why. Um, but uh, I mean, I feel bad for his family. Um, I kind of. I kind of have a feeling that uh, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna. I'm not, I'm not too sure about the OSHA and, and what might come down on from from that, you know, or anything. You know, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't, I don't know the details. All I know is he fell off the ladder and he, and he hit his head on the concrete floor and he, and he died. So, I mean, rest in peace to him. Um, condolences and. Um, you know, deepest condolences, deepest sympathies to his family. Um, I mean, I think everybody's kind of, some people kind of walk around, moping around, some people who load and that type of thing. But uh, anyway, you know, life goes on. Um, you got you to gotta live each day like it's your last, but you never, you never know. Uh, you know, it's like I said before in my last video, stay prepared. You never know, you never know when your moment's coming. Stay prepared. The Lord might come. He might strike. He might split the skies and, and bring bring his children home, or or you can be called into his presence that fast. And if you're if you're if you're prepared to meet him, then you're you're all good. But if not, you don't get no second chances when you get to that point. So I mean, just you know, I just stay. I stay. All I can say is stay prayed up. But anyway. Uh, yeah, the, the equipment here, it's not, the, the lifts, they're all, they're all pretty much old. And uh, I was having a little bit of trouble with, the, uh, it was spraying hydraulic fluid out from underneath the bottom of it. So I had to kind of hurry up, get this thing out, get this, this truck unloaded and I had to get it back on the truck. I was having a little bit of trouble getting it back on the truck. And uh, 
their philosophy is fix it, fix it, fix it. And, you know, you can nickel and dime yourself to death. I learned that. I had a, you, I had a, you, I had a car. I used to have this, this, I had a, a turbo ZX sports car a long time ago. And I mean, I didn't have no car payments or anything like that, but I never did. I never knew when it was going to break down. It seemed like it broke down every month. It was something, it was something always going wrong with it. And, uh, I was, you know, with, with the unpredictability and everything else, I, nickel and diamond, it, nickel and diamond, it, nickel, I might as, well have, might as well have had a car payment. And finally one day, finally one day it didn't crank up. I had to work on Saturday one time when I worked at lumber yard. And I used to be, I used to have to roll start there where I went. So if I was playing golf back then, if I was a putter, man, I, I could have been, I could have read a green like, like crazy. Cause I, I could look at a parking lot and be able to tell any type of undulations or any type of elevate anything in that right where i get a good rolling start because <laughs> it was it was a five speed so that thing that thing it, it didn't crack on me that morning on the way to work i was late to work that saturday i had to work and then it didn't crank up on me i took that thing i took it straight to a car wash <laughs> and sprayed it off took it straight to a car lot and traded that joker in they gave me two thousand dollars for it and got in the next day when i walked outside it was the best feeling in the world was walking out there and putting that key. And I bought, I bought a little hot, this little two seater Honda. It was a blue, like a Royal blue, uh, Honda Del Sol. I used to, I loved that car, but the best feeling I ever felt was when I stuck the key in the ignition and I turned the key on. I ain't had, I ain't had, I ain't had to worry about rolls. <laughs> anyway, uh, but that's kind of like we're here. They nickel and dime everything. You don't ever know if it's going to run or not, you know? So, it is what it is, you know. Thankful, I'm thankful for my job. Thank, you know, count, you know, just like, just like the, the, the hymnal says, count your many blessings, name them one by one. <laughs> so, that's what I'm doing. I, I count my blessings. I'm thankful for my job. You know, a little bit of a hydraulic leak and the, the, uh, the uh, lift not running like it ought to. Hey man, at the end of the day, you know, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all. Hope y'all staying safe. Uh, I got my business off the ground. Probably gonna be buying me a piece of equipment this weekend. I'm excited. It's not gonna be long. It's not gonna be long. I'm thinking about a, about a month, a little about a month and a week, about a month and a about a month and a couple, about a month and a half. I'll have this thing going. This weekend is gonna be a big weekend. You know, getting this piece of equipment is one of the two biggest things I got to get. The other thing I can, I can work around, but this is the main thing. This is, this is the main thing. And it's going to be a good one. So I just hope it still got it. So, but there's other ones out there. If they don't, if, they, if, they, if somebody done bought it, then it's no big deal. I, I'll find another one. So appreciate y'all. Stay blessed. God bless y'all. Stay prayed up. You never know when your day is coming. You never know. Just like that guy, I hope he was prayed up. I mean, I, I, I lift his family, I lift his family up, you know, for the Lord to give uh, strength and uh, comfort to them. I just hope he, I hope he was prepared to meet the Lord that day. I hope. I don't know. I don't know the guy. You know, you know, I don't know. But I do know if you're not prepared, you don't get a second chance at that point. So, read in the Bible where he's talking about the uh, Lazarus and the and the rich guy, and the rich guy wanted to. He he saw Lazarus in in, in the, up in heaven, and they, he he was like, hey, you know, let him dip, let him dip his finger in 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 water and just quench my tongue just for a moment. I'm in torment. You know, you don't get a second chance after that. But while you still got breath, there's always hope. It's always hope. Stay prayed up, y'all. Thank you. And uh, y'all take care of yourselves. We appreciate y'all. And uh, y'all have, have yourself a good rest of your uh, July. Hope y'all having a good summer. Go to the beach. Enjoy the beach. Enjoy what God gave us, you know. The wilderness, the mountains, the desert, wherever you want to go, you know. Over the mountains through the woods. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all take care of yourself. We'll see you.